Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to D and D. Jojojojified. I am Mr. Pitch playing Grund. Uh, not Grundrick. I forgot who I was for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> playing uh, Grumbo, the troll who just kicks ass repeatedly, apparently. I'm Ems. I'm playing Lyra as usual. And I'm James playing the mighty Grundrick. Get it right, Grumbo. <laughs> you completely owned last time. Um, so, because well, I can't roll below seven. So, <laughs> so what happened last episode was, um, basically, they all went to, Gideon was missing, they went to find him, they found him in his house asleep, Gr uh, Grumbled went to like slap him awake, as he did that, they were transported through a Doctor Who time warp, they were transported through a Doctor Who time warp, into Gideon's mind, where they are now. Let's just admit it's a fucked up place. It's a very fucked up place where they are now helping Gideon's subconscious regain control of Gideon's mind. Because as Gideon went into his mind, went into his own mind, he basically shattered all of his subconscious's power, and all of Gideon's demons basically grew infinitely stronger. And now they're all fighting the demons, and blah 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 blah. blah. They've just fought Gideon's person, the Gideon's demon um, of. Basically, it would have been if Gideon had let his power overcome him, uh, or if Gideon lets his power overcome him and it consumes him and it turns him into evil. It's fine, just hit him with an axe. It's not a problem. Um, yeah, we showed him. <laughs> we showed him. Okay, it's not so you are now stood <laughs> in front of the giant again. As I said before, I left him a bit out of accident. I'm sorry. Um, yes, I'm the giant is like covered uh, from his feet to his waist in like ornate oh, um, arcane rune inscribed armor. That is, all the runes are glowing blue on it. He goes, the giant says to you, So, who defeated two? Only two more to go. What a bother. I like how Gideon's subconscious sounds like he's slow. <laughs> I love, I love he's a giant, sounds, he's slow. I love how he sounds like So, um, you hard. now have two oh. doors left. It's Eeyore. It's not Eeyore. It's you not have Eeyore. two doors left. Oh, Which door <laughs> would you like to choose? Gideon, I mean, um... Can't Does someone want to roll a scatter dice? And I do! Or should we, should we flip a coin for this no, one? No, no, no. Wait. No, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I'm going to do what I did before, where I get my axe and spin around till I fall okay. over. But instead of my axe, I'm going to pick up Lyra's arms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do a strength check, over. see if you can go... Uh, Lyra, do... Plus eight. Yes, I do. Lyra, do a strength test, see if you can wriggle out of Grumble's troll No, no, I'm going to do it. Oh, she wants to do it. She's like, wee! And a one, two, or three, I land at the the left-hand side. I land on the right hand side. Door so number three! Door number three! I was Whee! hoping you would choose this one. Actually. Lyra, you feel queasy. <laughs> <laughs> Resistance check. Door number three. Okay, so are you going in? No, we're going to stick and stick. I'm kicking it down, it went last time. Okay, kick it down. As you enter, as the party enters the room, you are transported to what seat? Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, there we go. You are transported uh, into what, you, what looks like a Colosseum, a floating Colosseum. Um, again, it's very si it's very similar to the area that you just were. However, it's all made of like sandstone and stuff. Is that what? Um, there are pillars. There are big, big pillars going up all around with gaps in the middle. It is Olympus. There is just void. There's nothingness in the in the in the gaps. There's you know there's there's not there's nothing below. It's just an endless void. Um, you are witness to an epic battle inside this coliseum between Tobias Valmont and Gideon. Tobias is is like flipping around. Sorry, I run out the other way. <laughs> the, 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 the door is gone. You can't run out. <laughs> you go. Ah! She ah, jumps into the void. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, she doesn't. I wouldn't do that. If I no, I wouldn't either. That would. That's like instant. Nothing she can bring you back from that. Bug. Nothing. If you if anyone falls into the void, um, it's very unlikely. But it's like, don't do it because bad things it. will happen. Bad things Basically, we okay. Win this fight. Right. So, the void. <laughs> <laughs> so, this epic battle between Gideon and Valmont. Gideon is blasting arcane lances. He is like using powers that you have never seen before. He is like casting epic destruction rays, like just annihilating, annihilating the, like, the, 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 the pillars and the walls. Harmon. Tobias looks Harmon. very, very, very tired. Um, Tobias um, gets caught in the leg by a destruction beam. And it just fucks him and he falls on the floor. He'd like to disappear. Gideon um, stands, Gideon walks over and stands <laughs> over him. Um, he has Tobias pinned out and at his mercy. Um, Gideon all of a sudden begins to like mutate and bubble. He transforms into a huge red centaur. 
with like more horns than a regular centaur would have, like muscles on his muscles that they're all like veiny and shit because he's like fucking epically ripped. Oh, it's rough, like it's rough. Hmm? Does like Doesn't him? like Gideon at all. This is just a fucking rage demon. Um, Tobias is terrified. He's lying on the floor pleading for his life. Gideon looks down and laughs a long, murderous laugh. Gideon then proceeds to hold Tobias down by the torso. He grabs Tobias's arm and rips it from his body and throws it across the arena. Again, Tobias yeah. is squealing like a stuck pig. He is like, you've never heard these noises come from a human being before. He's just like, he's like going out of his mind with pain. There's blood everywhere. Gideon then proceeds to get a leg of Tobias Valmont, rips his leg off. There is more blood everywhere. Yeah. Tobias is like screaming Tobias that hard, Samuel. like blood is coming out. He's like basically destroyed his vocal cords from screaming. Yep, so Tobias well. then, uh, Gideon then rips off his other leg and his other arm until Tobias is just a twitching torso. And Tobi Tobias manages to cho choke out the word, please, don't, don't, and then Gideon takes his head and just squishes it. Just completely squishes it in a gigantic way. I like how he's pleading for his life when it's all respect. He, he, no. he, he, he then takes Tobias's body and devours it, just pushes it down his gullet. How big is this thing? Um, this minotaur is yeah. pretty big. Is it a minotaur um, or a centaur? It's a, it's, it's a minotaur. It's, 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 it's two legs, ripped with muscles. Really it's about nine foot tall. It's really, really big. Um, it's a Taurus theme, isn't it, Paul? Yes, it is a Taurus theme. <laughs> um, it is like, it's like, it's got no weapons, though. It's not holding a weapon, it's just got epic strength, right. epic muscles. You just have a Where a, a, a centaur, where, sorry, not a centaur, where a, a minotaur would have like two horns, he's got like six, just like fucking coming all out of his head and stuff like that. Um, however, with this, with, with, with um, Tobias Valmont, just fucked. He's gone completely. The. Minotaur turns and looks at the three of you. I'm and cheering. Cue the Why boss music. Vomiting? Where is my music? Pause D and I just let my own name go. I'm gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> they know your first name. I say it the entire length. I know. Of I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, so. Oh. I've got Mike. Wrong one. I'm Emily. I'm James. <laughs> right. So, so the, the Minotaur looks at the three of you. It stomps its hoof on the floor. It kind of like scrapes its foot and it charges at the three of you. Wait, I thought I'm I stop applauding and get out my axe. And I'm ready okay. to receive. Draw my great sword. Great sword, great sword. And I'm ready to receive its charge. Yep, and I'm okay. also ready myself. Uh, Lyra starts to Okay, so Lyra's moving away. Grundrick and um, where are, and Grumbug are, are, are just standing there, ready fast. to just take its attack. I, I, as we're doing this, I move as far right as I can that it can only hit either me or Grundrick. Okay, the Minotaur, seeing that Grumbug is probably the biggest. Uh, did you guys heal, by the way? Yeah, yeah. There you heal. Seeing that Grumbug is the probably the, the biggest threat, it charges. It, it, it charges at Grumbug. It hits Grumbug like a fucking freight train and knocks him for five meters. Nope, it just hits you. Okay. It hits you and knocks you. You take D3 damage and are knocked for five meters backwards. D3 damage. Love it. So three damage? Okay. Okay. I go hard. The, the, the Taurus demon having flung Grumbug then turns to look at Grundrick. It again stomps its hoof foot on the floor, scrapes at the ground, and charges at Grundrick. What is Grundrick going to do? Well, you're right next to me, so I'm just going to swing so the head. Okay, <laughs> roll, to, roll to hit. Uh, 12 and a 17. You hit it twice. However, your attacks do nothing. Your attacks put deep gouges into one of its shoulders and a deep gouge what into the, the middle fuck? of it. However, its wounds just automatically heal up completely. It is magical. This, uh, it is a magical bit, I know sorry. exactly how we kill it, but Grumbug is so stupid he wouldn't have by now, so I'm not going to tell you. you got to work it out, guys. <laughs> okay, so it, it just, it, as you slide, it, it goes past you, you kind of like side step, do like a flurry with your axe or whatever it is. It okay. has massive gash, and the gash is just, just heal up immediately. It has okay. taken no damage <laughs> whatsoever. I am going to move. Oh no, because he wouldn't. No. I'm just gonna move to directly in the center. It's Lyra's turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I know what you want to do. What is Lyra gonna do? Try and maneuver it into the void. 
You gotta ah, you gotta hey, you, face, you, face. you gotta try and do it! Yeah, okay. Uh I, I'm so confused what this is. I'm just like, like Lyra, what are you doing? The Minotaur is now looking at Lyra. Right, okay, I'll draw a quick picture for you. You've got big circle, thing. big circle, you've got pillars. Pillars, and yeah. then a void between each one. And the Minotaur. Nothing, nothing here, it's just edge. Minotaur. It's just edge into, no into the nothing. Minotaur? The Minotaur, um, you, uh, fuck it, we'll just say you, you guys came in here. Um, the Minotaur, uh, you guys are like around here. The oh. Minotaur is like over here. Uh, we'll say that Lyra is you like know, back you know, where the. like here, and you yeah. two are over here, aren't you? So, okay. Grumbug. Um, so like Lyra and Gundrick Ly and Lyra is like still still near yeah, the door. Lyra and, Gu Ly Ly uh, Lyra and uh, Gundrick are to the left of it, like by the edge of the platform. The and Grumbug's been thrown to the right. The okay. Minotaur is stomping its hoof again, scraping at the floor. It charges at Lyra. Okay, okay I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dodge out the way. Dodge out the way, obviously. I'm dodge, dodge out wait, the way. When when, when Gundrick hit it, um, did it show signs of being hurt and then heal? No, it just it just fuck it didn't give a fuck. Okay. It, it just healed her, right? It instant. It was like it's yeah. like Deadpool. It healed instantly. Okay. Do I jump out of the way or five or nine? Uh, oh no, agility. Wait, what? Am What's I your agility? You have to dodge. Seven. I dodge it. Yeah, you have to roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, dodge you, you dodge it, and the Minotaur crashes into the pillar, and like the whole fucking pillar just cracks and falls <laughs> into the void, like crumbling as it goes. Is that our turn yet? Yes, it's your turn. Okay. I put my axe on my back and I do exactly what the Minotaur just tried to do to me and I just <laughs> run it in head put it in the back. <laughs> the, 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 okay, so you, you, you run it into What's the Minotaur. It? The Minotaur kind of takes a step forward but looks otherwise unfazed, turns around to you. <laughs> this Minotaur is bigger than Grumbo, like way bigger. Yeah, he's like four, he's four bigger than me. I still have the power to move him somewhat. Yeah, he, he took a step forward, you sundered it a little bit. Okay. Did you get a strength check to see if you're good enough to push right. it further than... <laughs> I just don't get how we fight this thing, because you're not rolling to hit. We're not rolling to see if it moves. I know what to do. So, it does what? I know what to do. Can I okay. do what I want to do? Go on, what, what, what do you want to do, Ems? This is what okay. you go working out. This is right, okay, so this pillar's falling down, yeah? Yeah, the base and of it's I'm still here. there. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to move here. No. Oh, okay. No, no. That 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 one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. Right, okay, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna kind of go. Woo! Try and wave at the centaur. The get the the the, the centaur. Get as far as close, like back. This entire towards. fight, I'm gonna continue trying to headbutt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll look the at Lyra and go. What the, are you the doing? The centaur. The centaur. The it's not a centaur. The minotaur. Minotaur's a bull. Look at look at I know what okay. it's Centaurs are like four legged horse people. I'm hoping um, I can dodge it out of the way. The, the centaur looks at Lyra, looks at she's just like, yeah, it's like this like waving at it. It laughs and then turns and looks at Grundrick and charges Grundrick. Oh, oh, it does not like me. It, it stomps its poof and it barrels towards Grundrick. Oh. Are you gonna try and take it on? Uh, well, gonna I'm, what I'm going to try and do is jump between its legs as it runs if you, up. If you get high enough on a strength stop. test, you might be able to just, like, stop it. Oh, I'll go flying. I'm small, right? And it's fucking huge, so I could probably run between its legs or duck between its legs. Well, that would like require that. an agility check, which, which you I don't have fucking right Fucking pants up. Just try so, to stop it with your shield. Yeah, yeah I'll just yeah. put my shield out and stop it. Like, uh, stand on the ground. Nice. Okay, so, so the set, the set, the um, like go down onto one knee. The minotaur, yeah, go down to one knee the minotaur is yeah. is barreling towards you. You're just gonna try and take it. Do I a strength don't, test. Don't know what to do with it. Do so I have to roll under my strength? I do, I do, you you have to over your strength. Uh, nine. Yeah, I do. You roll over strength. You stop them. You you kind of you don't stop it, but you, you kind of both clash and you get pushed backwards. Like you, your feet are like like scraping in the sand. Uh, the the the, the, minute, the minotaur looks re looks like quite amused at this that someone's able to challenge his strength. Um, the minotaur then um, basically tries to pick you up. So I have to do a strength check to resist yep. that. Hell yeah. You completely pass it. You basically break free of the Minotaur's grasp. You dodge to the side. The Minotaur then turns around and looks at Grumbug again. Do I get a turn yet? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that oh, yeah, was my yeah, turn. You, you, you get a turn. Yeah. Well, can I do a turn while it's attacking him? Yeah, if you want to. I'm going to climb on its back. Okay. With Agility the... test. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you try and climb on its back. It kind of, it kind of just looks like... <laughs> Kind of like laughs at you. It, it, um, okay, I've not actually got stats for this because I didn't think I would. Um, I let me just roll dice. 
it, the Minotaur tries to pick to grab both Grundrick and Grumbug and tries to smack both of your heads together, but it completely misses. It tries to grab you, but it's so bulky that it's it's really slow and shit. Okay. And, it, and, it, and it misses you. Lyra, maybe try taunting it a little bit more. Alright, what Lyra's gonna do is I'm assuming there's rubble to my side from where the thing fits and things. You're, where are you now? I'm here, right here, in between this void, right? This is gone and there's rubble here. Yep. I'm gonna pick up one of the rubble and I'm gonna throw a rock at it. Oh, oh, you think. Okay, I'll let go. Ballistics check? Yes, yeah, sure. Alright, my ballistics is two. Four. Yeah. This is by a mile. No, no it's if, you, if, you, if, you, if your ballistics is two and you've got a two pass, don't you? No. No, no, it's a dice of the crap Oh shit, well, yeah. yeah. You, need a tens you, you can throw another one. You can throw another rock. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you, you, you crack it straight on the back of the head. It is now a little bit annoyed and views you now as a threat. Yes! It turns towards I mean, no! it turns towards Lyra and it barrels towards Lyra like doo -doo, kicking up a massive dirt storm like, in, in its way. Remember behind you is the void. Dodge! Are you gonna try and dodge, dodge. it? Now I'm gonna take a pause. I'm gonna fucking dodge it. I'm gonna take it. This little elf girl's gonna get you. Stop. Eleven. That's eleven. Did you pass? Two. Thirteen. You didn't pass. I hate you. Fuck you. You did. You 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 did you not pass. The minotaur. You, you you dodge out the way too oh, late, and the minotaur basically picks you up in its horns and tosses you high into the air. <laughs> you go. You go uh, five meters in the air and you land and you take three damage. That's not bad. Do I land, can I land on my feet? See if I can do it. Agility test. See if you land on your feet. Seven plus two, seven, eight. Okay. Nine. 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 You're one away. Nine. 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 Nine.
Totally is it still on its knees? The minute it really doesn't, doesn't mind that you're on its back. It's just holding it's, its, it's, it's, it's still on its knees holding its nuts. Yeah, it's honestly, it's, he's, he's kind of recovered now because he is a fucking demon. Do you want to maybe steer it towards the void? I, 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 the plan is that when it charges, I'll do a strength check to try and aim it. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Okay, so the Minotaur looks at Lyra, sees that Lyra's trying to smack it in the nuts. It sees Grundrick is by her side. It backhands Grundrick and misses completely. <laughs> um, it then, with the momentum of that, the backhand, it gets up and looks at Lyra, stomps its hoof again, scrapes the floor and charges. Any now, this is a really long way between point A and point B where Lyra is. This Minotaur is building up serious momentum. It's basically the juggernaut, bitch. I, I'm going to hold off until the Minotaur is about two metres <clears throat> away from Lyra. And then I'm going to pull it as far to the right as it can, so it'll slip over and go over the edge. And as it does it, I'm going to jump off the back. Like, just fall okay. off the back. Okay, go for it. Okay. So it charges forwards. What do you want me to get on my strength It, it charges, just, just roll the dice on the side. Plus eight. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, 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 you totally steer it where you want to go. The, the, the Nitsaur's kind of annoyed that it's not going where it wants to go, but at the same time, it's still going kind of straight on, so it still doesn't mind Grumbugs on its back. Yeah, the, the idea is to turn it as quickly as I can so that its forward momentum knocks it over and it like rolls forwards. Okay, well, it, it, it's still, this is halfway through its charge now. Okay, okay. So, no, I said I'm not doing it until it gets to within two oh, right, okay. Lyra. Well, it's barreling towards Lyra. Lyra, you will need to take an agility check. So, so this thing barrels towards you. Two meters away, it, like, its head twists and begins to roll towards yeah. you. See if it boulders you over. <laughs> you need to get out of the way. <laughs> Nine. Nine plus two. two. Eleven. I just made it on the set. Yeah. That's what it is, isn't yeah. it? Just yeah, Lyra just makes it. Yeah. As Lyra. And I purposely fall off the back. Lyra flips out of the way. Grumbug lets go. The Minotaur, having been turned on its side, flips and starts to roll. So great is the momentum that it's picked up on this epic charge, it flips and rolls and flies completely over the edge of the void. And it just goes. And gone. It is completely gone, vanished into the void. That's what my idea I put my hand up and just go, got it. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. that we just played an epic game of both with, 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 with that, with that done, am I actually recording this? I really hope I am. That would be hilarious. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh. With that, the room again to start, starts to dissolve and the DM is going to go for, to the toilet. Yeah, the thing I was going to tell you to do, but obviously Grumbug wouldn't know this. Like, he wouldn't know that we have to, like, tactically knock it off the edge. Yeah. Like, I didn't know before, he didn't tell me or anything, but I just worked it out. Yeah, yeah, to be fine. honest, he, he made a DM mistake by telling you that if you fall off, you're just gone. You shouldn't have done that. But, um, <laughs> when he broke the pillar, you should have stood on the pillar, so that when it was charging at you, you rolled out the way and it just went past the pillar and fell off. Because okay. the pillar's on the very edge, yeah. so if it missed you, there's no way for it to not go over. Ah, right. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I quite like rodeoing it into death. I just like the fact that I managed to smack it in the nuts and get on one knee. It's like, oh. yeah, you're right, you're like, you smack the nuts. Is it just me or have I killed every demon? I know you have. <laughs> 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 we we, 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 we killed at, at the exact same time. I don't think it's very we fair. We killed Gideon at the exact same Grumbug time. Because is being played by the man who is like obsessed with Dark Souls, which is all about well, defeating I, I didn't write this about Dark Souls. I mean, come on, I didn't you know? Okay. Yeah, I did have a bit of Dark Souls in mind when I wrote this, but. I was trying to kind of. Can I have an Estus flask? We duetted on Gideon. We duetted on Gideon. We killed Gideon at the exact same time. Right. Okay. So with with the with the with the deep with the um the Minotaur demon the the rage demon um oh, gone much. again once again the Colosseum that starts to dissolve and shimmer away. You are then again stood in front of the giant. I the giant like now there's only has one door, the only one door left. Is there's there. only one. Well, there's two doors left. I'm asking the giant. By the way, what's no? Your there's name? the big door and one other door. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a big doll on one of the doors. Right, I'm going to use a healing session. I don't okay. like calling right. The giant is now sense. wearing ornately arcane chest armor. Just yeah. just chest. No arm. It's like, like, a, like it looks like a, like a tank top kind yeah. of like chest curious <laughs> kind of thing or however you say it. An arcane tank top. <laughs> so do you want, what did he say, Lyra? Did you want to? What's his name? Maybe you should ask him. I did. I just did. Hello, sir. What's your name? I don't like calling him the... Oh, it appears you have got, you have defeated the third demon. Yes. What is my name, you ask? Yes. I don't have a name. You I am merely be. just the conscience of Gideon. Right, hang on. You should be. I'm calling you Nemo. It's decided. You should be. You're Nemo. Nemo. No, you should, you be. should be Nidedig. No, no, you should be. Nidedig. No, you should be Hoop. It's Pooh backwards. Oh, for goodness sake. 
It's, mm. <laughs> it's hoop bag. Nine to dig is um, Gideon's spot backwards. Strong I am. Nine protect dig. I can. Nine that nine name does not reflect what I do. Nine to dig. Nine to dig. 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 No, 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 Oh, it's a demon door, and it just happens to have leg the very level 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 what the fuck is that other room, you The door to devour your door. No. Um, improv time. Improv No, 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 it's here room. somewhere. It would be room two. Wiz wizard library. Room two. Room two. Grumbo's just owned. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go, room two. Okay. Okay, as you enter the room, you appear to be in a grey room, covered in water. The floor is water, is the fear. walls are water, is it, is it the ceiling is water, however, you don't seem to sink. You kind of stand just on the surface of the water, like almost like you stood there's like a glass sheet underneath it, but it, the whole surface. Now, are we are we, are we under it or in it? No, no, no. No, there's air. There's yeah. just the whole the walls, the ceiling, the floor is just water. I turn around and try to go back through the door. The door's gone. Yeah, I look at Lyra and go, "Go back to swim." <laughs> okay. Um, as as you en as you enter as you enter the room, everyone feels a great sadness and sorrow and regret wash over them. Aww. Everybody take a willpower test. Lyra, you are minus five because you're a woman. Well, he Slightly sexist. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. sexist well, you've got a war troll who doesn't fucking give a shit. You've got Grundrick who is like a fucking battle-hardened dwarf. What you're, 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 you're an elf girl. It's And plus, it is, you know, I'm a woman, well, but well, I how, always feel sad. Wouldn't I give a shit? Wait, just do, just do a perception. Wouldn't test. I give a shit more perception? because I don't like what? water? Will, will, willpower or nerve? Willpower. willpower. I fail, I've got risk three. Okay. I pass. You I actually pass. Grund uh, Grund Grund Grundrick passes Lyra, did you fail? Yeah, did I cry? Both, <laughs> both Lyra and, Grun and, 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 and Grumbug. Grumbug break down and st they basically you just you just tear up and you start to cry I and you, you <laughs> can't <laughs> stop crying. He's like, what's wrong with you two? I was you, like, I didn't even know I had two <laughs> <dogs."> <laughs> no, Nothing you do, no, nothing you think about will stop this like wave of sadness that's like washed over oh, you. I, you I just, start you, talking to Samson. You are just, you're just <laughs> sobbing. Hold me close, buddy. Hold me close. <laughs> because you are sobbing, you are all minus one action. Because you are you are trying to like well, fight. I don't know, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, Grundrick's fine. Grund Grund Grundrick is fucking fine as fuck. Oh, crap. Um, Stop crying, I'll beat you up. Do my a perception head. test, <laughs> all of you. Okay, I get a ten. You get a ten. Oh, no, a ten. A twelve. Grundrick, just roll another dice if you can't yeah. grab one. One. <laughs> a, a one. Okay, Gr Grundrick is just like, what the fuck You're are you two so crying about? Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? Um, yeah. Okay. Crazy. Through the floods of tears, Grumbug and Lyra notice that Otterbob is stood in the middle of the room. Otterbob! All right, before we deal with Otterbob, um, I turn to Grundrick and go, slap me. <laughs> Sla slap you? Slap me now. Yeah, you <laughs> no, need to get a grip. No, I'm going to hit you. Say okay. it as if you were sobbing troll. <laughs> Slap me down. <laughs> <laughs> Get a grip, you big troll. I just, my, my eyes are leaking. My eyes <laughs> are leaking. <laughs> yeah. Nothing happens. You still carry on crying. You're a bit even more upset now because you've been slapped in the face. Why um, <laughs> <laughs> did you do this? I, I, um, I just sit down um, and suck my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> so, all the bobs in the middle of the room. What does anybody want to do? Is it otter bob? Is it at his You an don't know. Otter? You don't. You don't know. Is it, he an otter? It's an otter. It look, it, you, when you right. recognise him as otter bob, he's like. I'm a, assuming he's the only otter in there. He's got like the same kind of like great. fur patterns and stuff like that. I'm gonna, go, <laughs> I'm gonna do something to drive great. So I'm gonna go great. I'm gonna get topped by a rabbit fucking otter. I, I continue. <laughs> to Why would you say that? <laughs> look at it. It's an otter. It's gonna turn into a massive I'm demon now, of evilness. I'm now alternating between thumb sucking and drinking from Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you approaching Otter Bob? Nope. I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw. My, I've got my draw, my great sword, um, like drawn, and I'm gonna sh shout to Otter Bob. Make your move, demon! I know what you are. 
Otterbob looks at you with like really sad, like <gasps> like puss in boots eyes, and just like looks at you and just and he just he just asks, "Why haven't you helped me?" How did you? You're an animal. You shouldn't even be talking. He says, "Why haven't you helped me?" Why is Kitty so evil? I'm not gonna help you. You're what? Need... Why am I talking to you? You're an animal. He looks at you again. I'm looking very confused. He looks like, at you an again, animal. and he just says, "Why haven't you helped me?" He then turns, I, I got, I he got, then got, turns got, to yeah, Lyra, who is sobbing her eyes out. With the same eyes. Oh, I'm to Lyra. Why haven't you helped me? <laughs> Am I close? Lyra's just Wait, in did, the... did it come close to me, Lyra? It's like, it's, you just materialized in Lyra's the room. Just gonna go the room is, is, is like is, quite is, small. Is, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's only like a five meter by five meter room. Oh, then, then I will also try and kick it. <laughs> you don't want to do that, though. You're sobbing your eyes. Well, actually, okay, you okay. So, you, so you walk, okay, do a, um, do an attack. Uh, Arlob does have stats, by the way. Just like I, I know. It, it's <laughs> just, um, I hit him. You, 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 you punt Otterbob across the floor. Bitch! Otterbob kind of gets up, looks at Grumbug, and just goes, Why haven't you helped me? Lyra's just going to run at it and try and pick him up and cuddle him. All right, she as does... she does that, I run up to him and try to kick him again. God! Okay, I'm, like, I'm going to try and kick him. Agility off. Like, yeah, agility off. Come on. All right, all right. I got minus 14 for fuck's sake. Yeah, come on, let's see if we do this. I, oh! You 19, 19 minus 14. So, 1456. I got five. So, I get. Oh shit. Roll it again. Thank you. I win! Oh, God! <laughs> Good thing! Okay, so you get it, you run over and you punt Jeez. Otterbob again. Otterbob bounces off the side of the wall and he again <laughs> looks up at Grumbug and just goes, Why haven't you helped me? I rinse and repeat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stop. This time, like... Lyra gets to Otterbob yes. before, before Grumbug. What does Lyra Fine. want to do? She's just gonna be like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Lyra, it's gonna eat your face. What, 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 are, you, what are you doing? Are you, are you gonna like pick him up and give him a cuddle, or are you well, going that's what to? What she would do. Right, she as would you do. think, as so Lyra, cry Lyra, Lyra picks Otterbob up and like cradles him in his arms right. and like you know like tries to like. Right. Make, obviously, Lyra's still crying at this point. Right, she, she knows can't, that. She can't, I tell her not to do that. Yeah. Um, no, Lyra. Because because it's not really her. Whilst Lyra is cradling Otterbob in her arms. Oh dear. She gets very emotional with children or small animals. Otterbob then turns around and goes, Why haven't you helped me? <laughs> Otterbob then begins to erupt into a gigantic mutant otter. Ribs protrude out from where they shouldn't, like from his back and stuff. And his eyes bulge and look as if they are about to pop. Open wounds start to form and become visible and appear to be filled with maggots. Ew. His teeth are long and yellow and protrude from his a his mouth at odd angles. Patches of fur fall and he looks all emaciated. Yeah. You were holding him. Yeah, he yeah, was like, yeah. hey, as he as he slowly draw my axe. He has so exponentially. Yeah. As Don't he mutates, he exponentially grows in size. Ah! He's fairly big now. He's about the size of. Uh, I'd probably a say a baby elephant. Oh shit! So he's pretty fucking big for so a rabid she, mutant so is Lyra otter. Underneath him now, because he's sat on Lyra. You tossed him away as soon as he went. Bleh. Soldier. Now, well, Otterbob I'm... then attacks. Excellent. Um, let me find the room. Let me find the um the, the thing. Oh yes. Okay. Give me a hand. Um. Back to doodles. Uh, remember because Lyra is so close to Otterbob, Lyra must take a resistance test. Okay. Did you pass? Nope. Nope. You are poisoned. Because oh, oh, em no. emitting from Otterbob become is like a wait, noxious wait. green yeah, cloud yeah. of gas. Yeah, no, you have poison resistance one, so you take one less damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So Otterbob, uh, Otterbob, Otterbob slashes at Lyra. Yeah. Dodge. Thirteen hits, hits you. Are you gonna try and dodge out the way? You don't dodge. So Otterbob, um, well, mutant Otterbob hits you for um, D6 plus two. Uh, so hits you for three, and did um, you, did you, you, you only two. Did you pass your resistance test? No, she failed. No, so, so she's, you're, you're poisoned. She's already poisoned. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that, that's that's cool. Um, you got the end of the thing. At the end okay. of each round, you take another one damage. Yeah. Uh, who's next? Who's hey. the next closest? Oh, I, I'm just gonna go in. Smack I, him you, you hit him, so you're I've been kicking around the room for like two minutes. Yeah. Smack him. Um, one miss. Let's say thirteen hits him. Um, hold on. Twelve, sorry. Now it. Uh, his fortune is 16. No, I miss So, it. you miss I him. I swing and miss. Um, I'm gonna miss. Gundry's gonna, knowing full well what's just happened to Lyra, 
hold his breath, okay. thinking it'll help, <laughs> and then go in and try and swing him with his great axe. Okay. Uh, with his great sword. Nope. So uh, you, actually, you, no, you, you miss again. Yeah, you get plus, plus, you get plus seven. Yeah, you hit him. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, uh, yeah, sixteen. No, you missed. No, I missed. Okay, so, so you miss. Otterbob then turns round to Grundrick and vomits all over him. Yeah, it was a boomer. Fourteen. No, you missed. What Otterbob hits? A tap plus four. Yeah, you missed. Yep. So Grundrick sidesteps out of this like fucking torrent of vomit coming out of Bob's mouth. Disgusting. Next round, Lyra takes a poison damage. Oh, do I just do one? Yeah, you take. Uh, it's two, but because you have poison resistance to one, you take one. It's bad, okay. Can uh, I. It's your turn. Can I try. Do, do I. Can I do a resistance to the poison? Yeah. No. 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 Can she not? No. If she uses a healing surge, it stops. Yeah, I'll use a healing okay. surge. Okay. Well, no, you just use one and it stops. No, no, it's still, it's still healed. If she heals, it stops. Oh, right, okay. So she heals for three. <clears throat> she heals for three, it stops, but her turn ends. Okay. Oh, okay. My turn, I guess. Uh, so yeah. Boom, boom. Yep. Go on. Try and smack him on. Swingy, swingy, swingy axe. Twenty. Hey! That is a crit on me. Two D ten plus eight. First crit. Um. So that is eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. So it's I've done another one because you got crit. I've done it. You only did plus, one. Plus eight. Hit one. That's like taking half yeah. his life off. Okay. Um. It, whose turn is it now? It's Otterbob's um, um, turn, isn't it? No, it's Grunchy. Oh, it's Grunchy. Go on, Grunchy. Grunchy's going to swing his great sword as well. 19. Oh, Grunchy, take a resistance test. You don't have a great sword. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you have a sword and shield. Magnus great sword. Grunchy, take a resistance test. Take a resistance test. No, I need to use a new sword and shield. No, no, you should have a great sword. Uh, right. Grunchy, take a resistance test. Nope, I failed. No, I'm, you are poisoned. I'm, I'm poisoned. <laughs> oh, do I need to do it? Yes, you can grumble with me as a resistance test as well. I'm poisoned. Everyone's poisoned. Yay! I'm not. 31. I'm not no more. Yeah, Lyra's not. 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 Lyra's not.
flies fly out everywhere, and then Otterbob again just turns to ash. Can't wait for Pidge to get back from the Hell yeah, die, vile demon! Yeah, you're still poisoned, by the way. Yeah. Take your poison damage, too. 20. So I take two, and then I use my heat. And then I use my healing surge to turn. To, um, to, um, and to defeat him. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to use my healing surge to turn my poison off. I heal for eight, and I'm not poisoned. I have no healing surges. Six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm not poisoned anymore. Um, eight, and 12, so I have 31. But I have no healing surges left. I'm fine with that. Okay, okay, so the room. I'm going to change the music. And then we've got one door left. Okay. So, so the room again dissolves. You are stood in front of the giant once again. The giant now has a set of uh, ornate in arcane gauntlets on, like gloved gauntlets, again, with all blue glowy runes inscribed. Um, let me just get my... Uh, my Mr. Giant, out. do you have a hat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a hat. I understand you are part of Gideon and Gideon. <clears throat> It's one for its hats. <laughs> he does like his hats, doesn't he? Yes. He does. He does indeed. I don't know why I've become so popular. Okay, so as you as you um, appear in the room again, you seem to feel that something is a little bit different. Everybody, do a perception test. Gwendry, stop touching me. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Yeah. 16. Seventeen. Yeah. Um, that's okay. As long as one of you yeah. did it, that's fine. Fourteen. Um, you look around and you actually look behind you this time and you notice that another door has materialised. You don't know where it goes to, you don't you don't you just know that there's another door there and there wasn't before. There was only four doors and the big door. There is now another door. Nice. Chilling. Um I go, Giant Man, what's with the new door? Oh, I don't know what's behind You're that a door. useless guy. You don't what's know now. Another? Um I see you got all your fanciness back. Uh, any chance you can open this other door then? Um, the big one. I can try. The giant puts yeah, his hand that. up and basically his hand glows and nothing happens. You're fucking kidding me, yeah. what the hell? Well, You're useless. You're a bit shit then, are you? It appears that my powers have not yet returned. Let me guess, we gotta go in this other door, yeah? What I don't door? know. You are useless! You're a completely useless guy! You're a He's a giant! Yes. Oh dear, yes. Glyph has lost it. Alright, Mr. Giant, I um, I seem to have smacked all of these demons to death for you. <laughs> uh, not all of them. Oi, it was, a, it was a rat. Let it go. Three it was a rat. <laughs> um, oh, I'm feeling a bit knackered and my booze isn't um, healing me the way I, it usually does. So, uh, any chance you could give us a bit of a helping hand? Um, the giant puts his gargantuan hand over Grumbug and heals Grumbug for two. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I'm, no then. I'm going to use a healing surge. Oh, sorry, I'm sweating like a man. How many have I got? Three. Uh, yeah, I'll, eight, I'll use one. I'll use nine, one. 28. Five, six, seven, eight. I've just healed two. Oh, yeah, full health. Oh, I'm one off from fully. Are you kidding me? I'm five off from full. You're one off from what, bloodied? No, what, I'm five. I'm one off from full. I'm on full oh, health. Okay. Hell yeah! I go. Um, okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to go through this other door? I go. Um, your healing powers don't seem so great. Um, how about your smacking powers? You're strong enough to give us a hand. It. I can try. Alright, let's go to this other. Try. Door. You're, so do, all do, you have to do, do, do is try. Do you want to go to the other door? Well, saying is we can't get into the big door. I, I, I tell him to come with us. Do or do not. I'm there afraid no I won't <laughs> fit through there. He goes. I can push you really hard. <laughs> I won't fit through there. I can kick him. <laughs> no, I didn't. Right, okay, so, <clears throat> are you going through the door? I'm kicking it. I'll go first since so, uh, okay, I've got Grum more health. Oh, you're going to kick oh, it anyway. Grum Grum Grumbug it. There's no way. He's gone first. It doesn't even matter. He's Grum just gone. Grum He's gone. Grumbug <laughs> resumes his hobby of kicking indoors. I just like kicking things. Um, <laughs> I just like, <laughs> I just like, I just like kicking things. Like kicking um, okay, in the, this room, as you enter, it is an endless blackness you've got no idea how big or small this room is <coughs> excuse me there is i can see there no it, it's endless oh, black. Like, you, you, you just can't no, no amount of like special vision will help you it's just black all around Are we go you back by the four kings no you, you, you can't <laughs> see anything um you don't know whether you don't know where the sides are, the ceiling is. You know, obviously, that there's a floor because you're standing on it, and you're not falling through. Okay. Um, in the middle of the the room, there are three shafts of light shining down. Oh my God, Kingdom Hearts! 
Do you want to go and investigate three shafts of light? Um, I'm going to walk towards the nearest one whilst poking the ground with my axe to make sure that there's <laughs> ground. So, so are you all three of you going to walk towards the shaft? You don't sense anything bad or wrong. You want to you can follow behind me because I know there's ground in front of me. Yes, please. Yeah, we'll okay. just follow behind So they conga line behind me. Okay, so you all, you all walk up. Um, as you walk up, you, th you see um, in these shafts of light that, um, that are shining down uh, in the room, um, they reveal that they are um, that in oh, sorry the start again. In each shaft of light, there is each a brilliant blue crystal rose that shimmers and twinkles in the light, like little little, little like arcane like wispy things like floating up uh, around them. Um, um, I, a closer inspection will reveal that one is quite tall and in full bloom. One is it's like you know. Regular, like it's, it's like you know, just regular flower, and it's like medium height, and the other is very, very small and is yet to bloom. I um, what do you want to do? I look really closely at the nearest one and then go boring. As you, oh, my, my as, 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 you as you do that, you hear the giant's voice. So, oh, so you found them then? Found what? These are blue crystal roses. They only grow in Gideon's hometown of Evertide. Oh. They hold a memory, oh. a very meaningful memory, something that is incredibly strong, but at the same time, so very fragile. That strong. Is it's strong. Choose, <laughs> the giant's voice says. So there's one in full bloom, there's one in bloom. Do we get to choose one each? There's three. <gasps> wait, wait, so. I'm gonna go for the one that's not wait, bloom. Wait, 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 describe which, what, what right. they are. One's right, okay. budding, one's in blue, one, one's fully, fully. Well, okay. If you look at if you're looking at it um le uh, left to right, budding, the left budding. one is like really tall, it's like full of bloom, it looks magnificent. The second one is about half the size of it and it's kind of you know, it, it's it, it's there, but budding. it's not like it's not like full but it's yeah, no, the rose budding. is still there, but it's not like oh, you know it's like yeah. it's like it's not like it's a, imagine, it's not a, open yet. imagine a scarlet carson, right? You know when a scarlet carson's yeah, yeah, in yeah. full of bloom, it's like yeah. bah! I and mean, then the rose is like not really that, but it's kind yeah. of open, but not. Okay. And then the other one is very, very small, and it's, it's not bud. yet. It's just a bud. Right. I don't give a shit, so you guys can do what you want. I would like to have a big <laughs> tall one. Okay. Uh, hang on, 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 hang on. Wait. Hang on. Let me. Uh, 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 no. No. I was like, ooh, okay. pretty. But, so the, gi the giant says, say the giant says, way. choose. I pick the big one. So. As, as Lyra takes the the the, the big it. as as Lyra touches like yeah, touch you it. you you take the big rose and you pull it out of the light. When you touch it, you are engulfed in fond memories of Gideon. <laughs> all the good times, like all the all, all the bad, all the times that all the merry parties and stuff like that. All the in, I was like flames. All, <laughs> all the adventures you've had, all the good all the times you've helped Gideon out, all the good times Gideon has helped you out of tight spots oh, as well. Gideon. Um, do a um. <laughs> do a willpower test. Oh shit! 16, did you I fail it? Did you fail? Yeah. Oh no, shit! No, 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 I don't want to. You don't get, and you don't get anything else, any other memory of what could be or what anything else. I happens. hate you. So if you resist it, um, you actually get it. Oh, wait, you, oh, did you did you resist? Did, did you pass it? Sorry. No, I failed you, it. Oh, you, you failed your resistance test. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you don't you don't get anything. Get it no, because you you, you you would pass a resistance act to to resist the, like, the, the memories all flooding your mind yeah, yeah. like whoa like you can you can do it again if you really <laughs> want to but one time only this is me being nice to yes! <laughs> 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 okay 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 Lyra just forces Lyra, it. Lyra, Lyra, Lyra basically clings uh -huh. onto the onto, onto the feeling and she digs a little bit deeper in the memory <laughs> and she finds she you don't really get anything but you get a hint that Gideon deep down inside maybe sees you as more than just uh, a friend oh god no I don't like that <laughs> no, yeah you wish you'd resist but it's like it's, it's like it's, it's with it's, it's, it's like all these memories are like flooding into your mind like they're just, they're just pouring in like you, you can't like, you, you can't oh, uh, and, and, amongst, and amongst it all you, you get this like tiny little feeling that maybe there's something a bit more going on yeah. oh, ooh, oh, who, who is next to her to take one uh Grundrick's like giant uh do we have to take one of these flowers? Choose. He just yes. He just the giant just choose. responds with choose. Oh bother! You have. To. It's getting weirder by the minute. Uh, I'll have. I was like rocking in a corner now. By so the way. The budding or the half bloom. I'll have the one that's budding. 
Okay, the one that's like still like not not open. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When Grundrick picks up the rose, um, it's not a very powerful feeling, but memories engulf Grundrick. Um, you know, the, since he's met Gideon, like the, the times of his battles in the arena and stuff, and the times of getting pissed and like telling each other stories and the drunken donkey. However, Gundrick also starts getting like feelings, like like m- images pouring in of future has- events. <laughs> you see many great battles. You see yourself stood side by side with Lyra and Gideon, just like taking on armies of goblins and like loads of foes slaying great demons. Like Gideon is like blasting stuff. Gundrick, yeah. you're beheading yeah. things. You basically get a really good sense that. You know of of what could happen in the future, like all the great battles, all the glory that you could have. Does he not get the sense that um, Gideon might see him as something more than a? <laughs> no, Gideon, Gideon is straight. I don't, I don't have to take a willpower Gideon check. Gideon is completely. I, I, I don't have to take a willpower check. Yeah. I don't know. I don't no. know well enough. No, the willpower test was only for Lyra. Yeah. Um, okay, so. So uh, obviously, the last, the last good one. To obviously, I don't see these two. Um, what do I physically see them do? Because I don't see them. You see, you see, see, you 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 you see, 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 you you uh, both, you, oh no! I purposely watch those to see what happens. Yeah, they, they kind of they kind of come come round. Grundrick, Grundrick's like look, look, you know, looks quite pleased with himself. Lyra looks really pleased with herself as well, knowing that like that she that that that, that um, Gideon, Gideon regards her as su- 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 such a good okay. friend. Like huh. so, so, you should be flattered that Gideon. Yeah, that yeah, that with, 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 like with, with, these, with these two looking all right, I go over to the last rose and I poke it with my axe. Just the shack, it doesn't do anything. It does nothing. It kind of just like floats a little to the side and floats back say, to where it is. Ah, sod it, and I grab it. You, you grab the rose. <laughs> um, Gideon, uh, no, um, Grumbug, you're engulfed in really good memories like, of, of like being pissed in the drunken donkey with Gideon <laughs> and like adventuring about like the Ashen Isle and all the places you've been to in between. Um, like all that, you know, all the fun times. Like you, 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 you get is the memory that... flooding back to you when you walked in on, when Gideon was helping Lyra have a shower with his, um, with his rain cloud and you walked. <laughs> I made Gideon laugh Through and all stuff the like that. Flashbacks and stuff. Is there a Samson? No, <laughs> there isn't. No, because that's nothing really to do with it. Uh, with Gideon. Uh, it's not um, Grumbug also <laughs> sees events in the Leviathan. However, this time through Gideon's eyes. Um, Gideon, um, you see um, Gideon trying to get to Grumbug and how desperate Gideon is to try and save Grumbug after he nearly died in like the the thing in the Leviathan when he got put, put full of holes. Um, like you, Grumbug sees how desperate Gideon is, and to, to save him, and Gideon yeah. understand that Gideon um, doesn't merely regard Grumbug as just a cell sword or a hired mercenary, but as just a really, really good friend. And Gideon actually respects Grumbug's like fighting ability immensely, like because Grumbug saved Gideon on loads of accounts. Give me your so basically, Gr- Grumbug's just Gr- Grumbug yeah. comes out with a feel like, oh, what a good mate, what a good mate, what a good mate. What a good mate. Ah, it was good times. Shall we share what we saw, or should we better keep it this? Um, if ourselves? you want to, you can share it. Although, if you would prefer to keep it private, then you can do. Well, um, I what don't... happens to the rose after we've taken them? Um, ah, right. Well, this is this is it. No, hang on. Um, okay. Um, once these I'm events have passed, um, the uh, you all realise that the rose is as. As you kind of come out of this like trance, as all these memories are like finished pouring into you, um, the roses have transformed in your very hand into a perfectly round, shining blue crystal, the size of a large marble that fits really perfectly in the palm of your hand. Fuck yeah! The room once again starts to dissolve. However, this time, you keep what is in your hand. So do I have the biggest Ooh. one? No, they, they, they've all well, gone to the same one. size. They have all <laughs> gone to the same size. Let me just check what time we're actually. Doesn't matter. Let's just end we it. are on. <laughs> let's just finish it. All right. I've only got one left. Finish it. Um, okay. Finish as, it. as we reappear, I put my hand out to Lyra and go, "Here, you want this? You Bye. might want to hang on to that." No, I give it to Lyra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, have you come back to where the jar is? Um, I think um, you need to keep it for yourself. No, you don't know that. Because if, uh, um, if okay, so the room once again is off. Okay, again, you are good. stood in front of the giant. The giant goes, "Are you all done?" Yeah. Uh, uh, what's this blue crystal thing, giant? Uh, what is it? I can't Does actually remember if I got. No, he's not a helmet. Oh, where the hell? Oh yes. Um, 
There we go. Uh, you, you don't know what these things do yet. You're kind of just like, what, what the yeah. fuck is this? Well, that's why I've asked the giant. Like, do you know what this is? Um, I need to go for another piss in a second. Um, I say, then let us proceed. My powers have regained. Have the answer. giant. Hmm? I'm going to answer our question. What did you say, sorry? We asked what the crystals do. Oh, he goes, yeah. hmm. They appear. Hmm. I do not know. He just, he just doesn't know. He goes, I didn't like that room. <laughs> How weird, this subconscious um, doesn't know what this is. Okay, let us proceed. The giant moves to the large door and raises his hand. Um, again, nothing seems to happen. Oh, bother. Why is it not working? You did defeat all the demons, didn't you? I'm pretty sure we well, did. Try opening it with these crystals. Give him the crystals and see if they You help. hand the giant, the, the, the giant kind of looks at them and then just pans them back to you and just goes... No. Um, so gives them back. I, I hit the door with an axe. Again, Again, you rebound off the door. Okay. You take one damage. Fine. Okay, right. So okay. <laughs> That's what, I'm, That's what after, he's doing. After, after the giant hands you back the um, the crystals. Oh, I um, hang on. Does he hand one to... Does he hand... Like, he, 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 hand, he hands you them all back. Does he give me one? No. Yeah, he, he hands you back as well. Okay. Um, after that, then... Lyra remembers that. Oh, jeez. After the giant hands you back, a gigantic scythe rips up through the giant, like, like completely bursts out of his chest. Um, the giant drops to his knees and begins to shimmer, then explodes with a sh- like with a shower of ethereal particles and sparks. You hear an echoing evil laugh all around. A dark shape begins to materialise in the centre of the platform you were stood on. As it takes shape, you all become frozen with an overwhelming feeling of fear. Um, I think is do you want, everyone do a willpower test. What do we nerve check? A oh, ner- nerve check, willpower test, whatever. Yeah, that's mine. So, on so Lyra passes, Grumbug pass. passes. I pass. Okay, so you all I pass. Turn this down. Plus twenty. By this point, we're all like, we're fucking sick of fighting okay, demons now. You, Bring it on! You, you all, you all don't don't seem to care. Fuck you. Um, the dark shape in the middle of the platform transforms into a, another giant, equally as tall as the one that had just been slain. However, it is a skeletal giant. It is cloaked in a very, very dark blue ethereal robe and it has a skull for a face, being a skeleton. This it holds a, a massive, massive scythe. It's a 20 foot giant, yeah? Yes, yeah, it's another 20 foot giant. This thing is fucking massive. Okay. He goes, Indeed, you have missed one. The Reaper exclaims, I am Gideon's personification of fear. And what does he fear most of all? <coughs> Lung cancer. <laughs> Death. Because Gideon's biggest fear is the fear of dying. That's why he wants to get more power to try and make himself live longer. Um, the players notice that the crystals they have are emitting a high-pitched hum. When pres- you, you basically take the crystal out and you look at them. They then begin to glow with an intense blue light, which then proceeds to engulf the entire party. Woo! The blue light fades away to reveal that our heroes have changed. They are now wear- you are now wearing ethereal armour. Yeah. Grundrick's armour appears to be in the style of stone, banded together with amazingly crafted dwar- dwarven ironwork. The armour in- completely encases him apart from his face. You basically look like a stone golem with Grundrick's face. Hell yeah! You're, like, you're, you're pretty beefed out everything. Grumbug. Yeah. Grumbug's armour takes the form of full plate war troll armour, covered in metal spikes and blades. He has high ridged shoulder pads <laughs> which end in huge points. Really wanted a goat onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Lyra! Lyra's armour oh, is yeah. on an ornate elven plate armour yeah. which covers her entire upper body and lower body, leaving out like your midriff is exposed. Um, like it should be. You uh, have you a have pair. Crappy world of Warcraft. <laughs> you have a pair of crystal wings that protrude from your back. Oh, she can fly! Guess who you are? Who else has got ornate elven armor with wings? I can't think. I can't think. It'll be an anime thing, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, come on, oh, come on, it's an anime thing. I know, I know it is. Unless it's I a car and guy captures, I don't know. It's not so good. You have the answer at home. Well Wait, done, you. Hold it. Come on. No. I'll I I go for Misty. a wee whilst you win. Um, Misty. 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 God of War. Fuck <laughs> Winnie has gone, he's not home. Shut up. Totoro. I really wanted a crystal goat onesie. <laughs> crystal goat onesie. It's so onesie. good. Samson! Yes! I'm just trolling the Samson! Samson, go to game! I'm not Mertzer, am I? I'm Mertzer! Woohoo! I'm awesome! Yeah! Um, and and as Lyra goes, Woo! I'm Mertzer! Me and Grundrick go, Oh, you know how to do it. Okay, okay, okay. The armor, the armor, you've got ethereal armor on. Everybody gains plus two to all attack rolls and plus five fortitude with no downsides. The armor is weightless. You you, you can move a, a, as normal. You're not hindered in any way. Okay. You're never gonna hurt us. Hey? You're never gonna hurt us. Oh really? He has twenty-five fortitude. Hmm? He has twenty-five fortitude. <laughs> oh, you would you would think that, wouldn't you? Oh um, but we never feel out that gives that party shoot and then we realize right. it doesn't do anything okay, at all. Okay, <laughs> so the Reaper as you travel, the Reaper looks a bit like what the actual fuck is going on. Yeah, I um, we it. find final fight. I am Ursa. Final fight! Okay. Um the Reaper casts Wither on you all. Resi take a resistance check. Does the arm give us a bonus resistance? No, it does not. Fuck. Oh, fail, 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 okay. fail, fail, fail. All your actions, your curse, and all your actions become one. Well, okay then, that's one. okay. We have one okay. action. We have one action in that too. Okay, so uh, that was the. Um, he, he, get, uh, he gets two, but that was his reaction. Oh, by the way, Lyra, you feel um, lighter than normal I as well. Fine. You feel like you, you, you feel that even though you, it's it's this armor is weightless, but you yourself feel really really light. Do I feel less or more like a goat? <laughs> you, you feel whatever you want to feel. Yeah, go mode. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go mode. Go, 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 okay, go, okay, go. okay. Grumbug's armor reforms <laughs> into a goat onesie. <laughs> <Go mode. laughs> using the using Grumbug's tiny, tiny mind, <laughs> it fades away and then explodes again. And you are cut. You are in a goat onesie. You just wear a goat on your head. Grumbug basically looks like goes, yeah, goat mode. I am Samson. Samson. Samson power. Samson unleashed. You actually feel really, really light at this point. What do you want to try and do? Oh, just, just, just another question. Okay. Just another question. Does my saliva now taste of wine? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, Lyra, 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 Lyra feels really, really like Lyra okay. kicks off on the yeah, ground and, and you base. Bear in mind, this aisle. Reaper is floating quite high I mean, now. He's like floating up. Lyra kicks off on the ground and basically is propelled into it. In, in, I'm into a massive there. fucking I rock! Think. What the hell am I meant to do now? I'm just like well, a little goblin staring at this. Just wait, just wait. now. <laughs> okay, so Lyra being the. Yeah, go on attack. You might have one, you've got one attack. 15 to 17. Are you, are you using both swords? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm so. Sure. Oh wait, what's the 17? Um, is it immune to fire, otherwise it's on fire? It is immune to... It, no, oh, no, 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 you need an 18 to No fire. effects can hurt it. So, okay. I, did I hit it twice? You get what are your bonuses? What did you 17, get in total? Nine. Plus nine. Plus nine. Yeah, yeah, both, both could hit. She got, 20, she got 24 and 26. 24 and 26? Yep. Um, so yeah, you, you, you totally smack it. Yeah! One six, seven, six. eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. So, eleven? Yep. Okay, right. That's gonna be my You turn. fly, you kick off on the ground, you fly up on these crystal wings, you fly up, you fly past the Reaper, and as you fly, you completely smack it with your swords. Oh. The Reaper plummets down onto the onto the, the, the round platform and smacks down with a thud, like fucking dust goes everywhere. Oh, she's gonna be awesome. Cool. gonna fly up. Hey? Is Grunge just gonna fall out up? Go on then. Smack him on the ground right in front of him. Just because Grunge is great song. Samson mode. Bring it down. Are you not gonna have a look? Well, he can do his thing first. Do you want to do his thing? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my great song and I'm gonna swing it down and slice him in. So you're gonna try and slice it? I'm busy reveling my new song. 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24. You totally smack it in the face. Whew. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. Wait, what the fuck are you on there? Great sword. 23. Oh, you're Michael Force. Yeah, my Michael Force, great sword. Yeah. Oh, not 32, 23. 
So it's like okay. So it's face down on the floor. Yeah. It's it's like on the floor. Yeah, he's just got smack me. Just just, gone... Dunnit's just like fucking trying to impale it with his sword. I'm gonna run up to it. Don't load fully engaged. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and uppercut it into like its jaw, my mouth. This thing is fucking huge, by the way. Uh, my mouth is a skeleton. I, I got an 18. You got an 18. You miss. Yeah. You completely miss. No, it. like into its upper jaw. The, re- the, the Reaper then, like, yeah, plus three. the is Reaper floats back up again, and it looks at everyone. It, dis- it it swings its scythe in a big arc and tries to hit Grumbug and uh, Gundrick. Seems your closest, I'm flying with Roll one <laughs> So, 16, yep, it hits Grundrick. With um, 25? Hmm? Maybe he has 25 25 fortitude. Well... His attack is 10, so that's 26. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it smacks Grundrick and it misses, it doesn't do anything, anything it misses Grundrick. Yeah, Grundrick. 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 He's fusion hot. Oh, yeah. Fusion hot. <laughs> or the Debora earrings or whatever yeah. it is. Or the Bataro earrings or whatever it's called. Okay, so he smacks Grundrick. Um, and he, oh dear, he does, oh dear. D10 plus 3. So much for the fucking armor. <laughs> Uh, oh, he, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. He smacks you for. He's. He <laughs> want to avoid that. Ow. What does it do next? Um, it um, looks up at Lyra uh, flying ah. in the sky because she's awesome mm-hmm. and it casts Leech on you. Can I dodge it? Um, take a resistance test. Okay, please. please resist. 10. 10. My resistance is not. I just. I just, just fail back. it. Uh, just you, fail just, it. you just fail it. Yeah. Okay. Um, D6 plus you 2. Nine. Lyra, no, you no. lose 6, 7, 8 health and it gains 8 health. Okay, so it's going to take away 8 So oh, 23 no. minus 8. Did it take off again? Yeah, it fell off again. 23 yeah. minus 8. You need to up again. Yeah. yeah. Smack it down, fucking oh, smack, smack it. Oh, that's the calculator. So I just hit its legs. Sorry. Yeah, you can just hit its legs. I mean, that's. Chop its legs off. Um, 23 minus. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, he hasn't cast, 50. He hasn't cast Remember you guys have freaking skills that can like bloody this thing and shit. Oh shit, I forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> I have got a great sword out of things to get the axe out. Max. This thing is looking, it's nowhere near ill. It's just, it's, it looks fine to you. I am not going to hit it until it's bloody. <laughs> so. This thing isn't floating like way up in the sky. It's like floating, you could, you could probably hit it. Legs, yeah. Okay, what you I'm going to do is, um, at mode, she's going to like flash and then just like... Well, uh, Lyra's gonna flash. She's yeah, gonna she light flash. strike. Woohoo! <laughs> Lyra opens up her armor and just reveals her massive bosom. Massive <laughs> <laughs> bosom! Go and find it! Hey, what? Uh, yeah, so you shadow striking it. Yeah! Yeah, I'll shadow strike. And Gunmode from Bug looks up and goes, not again. <laughs> shadow strike! Shadow strike! Go on then! I can't remember how mm. to do Shadow Strike. Right, you, you disappear in a blinding flash of light, appears behind this Reaper's head, yep. and you oh. attack it. So two, two dice. Three and six. Um, does a three or a six plus nine hurt it? No. no. Oh, 30, 40, 15. No. You Completely missed does twice. nothing. Missed twice and the Shadow Strike fails. Oh no. Me. Bye. Okay. The Reaper turns, looks at you, and smacks you with its scythe. Is there two first? Hmm? It's a reaction to you oh. attacking it. Because you knew you, you missed, it's just gone fuck off. Did it hit me? Did it hit me? 13. Uh, 13, uh, probably not. Uh, yeah, it does. Oh, it does. Yeah, 23. Plus 10, yeah, 23. Yeah, I got 18. yeah. So the Reaper smacks you for, oh dear, D. For D. Te- where's the D? D. Temple's 3. D. Temple's 3. 4, 6. Oh, what? Right. Damn. Damn. Good drink, go for it. Country. Yeah, uh, you, I'm can, gonna, you can totally hit this thing. Uh, yeah, I know, but I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my great sword away and get my axe out. So that's so your first. One action. Oh, you only have one action. I only have one action. That's so great sword goes away, axe and shield. Yeah. Yeah. Is it crystal shield? No. Uh, only your armor has changed. Right. All your weapons and equipment have stayed the same. I'm, go I'm gonna stab it in the toe. Go mode. Stab it in the toe. 15. Go mode. Engage. And we get 19. 19. Um, is there any pluses to that? Nope. That's nope. It. You miss. Yeah, that's what I'm on about. I'm not gonna hit it. You completely miss it. I know. What I'm gonna do. That's it's fortitude is 22. That's what I've been trying to do. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. I need to be bloody before I can even hurt it. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Now you're going to try and do a bloody strike. Um, the Reaper's turn. Weakly strike. The Reaper's turn. The Reaper um, looks at you all and... Oh, have, you re- have you resisted the curses yet to get your actions back? No, I you didn't know we could. Oh, do you know? Oh, you, have, oh, you totally have to like kill it you to get your actions back. You have to kill the thing that cursed you or <laughs> go to a priest. 
Right, okay. Um, <laughs> the Reaper happy? is going to cast fear on everybody. Everybody do a nerve I'm fine with that. There we go. I get plus 20. I got seven, yeah, I totally, eight, totally nine, passed that. 10. Does that mean I'm You pass. What's your nerve? My nerve is 16. Oh, yeah, you yeah, don't you pass. Really <laughs> Everyone's fine. Yeah. But there's, um, everyone's fine, yeah. We don't yeah. care. My no, turn! No, no one is scared of this. This Reaper is just like. I, basically, your new, like, your ethereal armor is like giving you like a whole massive fuckload of confidence. It's the fact that we've like fought all these anything. demons and gone, you're just in a demon, we don't care. You do not terrify me. I am the one, true crystal gold. <laughs> <laughs> I am the crystal golem! I'm, I'm the crystal angel! I'm going to use... <laughs> the crystal goat! I'm going to use... Um, Gold power, Dr. Brady. <coughs> I'm going to use Rockling Strike, which will hopefully instant okay, one no. if it hits it. Please hit him! Yeah, oh. Damn you, fail! Seven, eight, <laughs> nine, no, nine, 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 Yes! Oh, I so oh, do you this. totally smacked that thing. <laughs> no, you don't. The 12, yeah, 30, 60, 70, 18, 19, oh, 19, shit. Oh, no, you miss it again. Shit! You're you both miss. This thing is just. It's one of It's once put every other battle. This before. thing is like really just not giving oh, a shit. We failed out all the chances of winning it. I'm just going to smack it then. I need a 19. Nope. Okay. <laughs> well, we ain't going to beat this boss. Not now. <laughs> the, the, you guys got the, 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 the Reaper looks at you. Looks, looks at you, what, look, look, looks at um, Gundrick and Grumbug again and swipes his side again, see if he hits. Gundrick, 15. Nah, no. Mm, yeah, no. 25. 25? Uh, yeah, 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 I guess it. Did no, just. He's 25. I'm 25. Did I miss? Yeah, if you get equal. You have to equal. Okay, so he hits you. you. Just get me. Hits you for. D Temple Sphere again. Oh! Fucking hell, 30. Oh, I can shield it now, though. What did you get to hit 15, me? 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, it. You completely block it and it does not carry on to Grumbug. Woohoo! You basically just parry it and it just goes ding, whangs off your shield. So Screw you! Our turn. Screw you, dear. Yes, your turn. I'm gonna run through its legs to behind it, slice at its ankles as I do. Okay. So that if it cleaves, it can't hit me and him. Yeah, yeah, good idea. And I miss. <laughs> I'm gonna try and um, fly behind its back and like backstab it. Go on. Can I do that? Yeah, of yeah. course you can. You're the most mobile one. You are flying nine. about like an awesome sword. 10 9, 19, no, no. No. No, you, you, you miss it again. It's got a fortitude of 20, is it? 22. 22. 22. This thing's like ah. epic. You guys are going to have a really hard time no, like, against the this boss. Yet. You need to roll epically. Yeah, uh, Gundrick, uh, what should I do? Yeah, they have, they swap like, swap out, swap out from a great axe or keep a shield and try to stun it. Just hit the fucking thing. Oh, no, it's immune to effects like that. Just hit the fucking thing. Hit the fucking <laughs> thing. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll hit with my, uh, my axe. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, 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 miss it again. Okay, 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 okay. All of a sudden, your armor begins to glow immensely bright. Yeah. Like immensely, like you you cannot see your each other because of this massive bright light. If you just take a zoom out of you, you're just three glowing beacons. Light, a beam of light shoots from each of you into the uh, Reaper, like completely into it, and like it converges and forms like a map. You cross the streams basically like yeah, Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, re the, Reaper, the Reaper is um, now minus three fortitude. Yeah, finally we can hit it. That makes so, almost no difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only the 17. Yeah. 19. 19. 19. Okay, you okay. are a nice DM. <laughs> I am I, mean, a I need a 12 to hit it now. Yeah. No, okay. It's not hard, it's just because you guys get like plus seven, plus nine, I get Reaches plus three. 10. So. Uh, the, okay, the, um, the leech is going to... The look, leech? The, not the leech, sorry. The, the, um, reaper. the reaper is going to slice at Lyra. I'm going to dodge. This is seven. seven. You have well, you well dodged. Dodge. Seventeen. Dodge seventeen. No, you got yeah seventeen. You got seven. seven. It's attack seventeen. It's one modifier. It's the, it's, she has to beat your roll. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So the, the reaper misses. Just... She just like do, like barrels backwards. Very crazy. Do a flip, do a barrel roll. Yay. I swing at his ankles. I miss. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I only get plus three. Uh, Gumball hits hard when he, if he hits. Yeah, I'm gonna try and hit it. I'm gonna try and hit. No, seven fourteen. Gonna do. Hey, I don't need a 12 to hit it now. The Reaper do need laughs. Need to oh no, I need a 12 plus my thing. The Reaper yeah, laughs at your feeble yeah. attempts at trying Wait, to hurt it's my it. Go. And cast. It, it's my oh, it's your go, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Use your skill. 70, 70, yes! I don't have a skill. You have loads of skills. I've used weakness strength, I've used shadow strength. I've used weakness strength, that's the only one. Okay, so, 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 so you smack it twice? Three, you know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doing eight damage if you can get it to hit it. Yeah. 
Good you. It's got like 50 plus HP or something. Know, yeah. It's got 57 health currently. Ah! <laughs> the Reaper, like, fucking recoils from this, and then... I believe this, you missed all of your bloody... And then casts fear on everybody you again. Really Will okay. power test! I'm fine. Oh, she gets a one. Oh! I am frozen in fear. Uh, yeah, okay. Lyra is frozen for... Two turns, you're still floating, and you just like you just can't move, you're just like no! really scared of this reaper. Just that ear piercing scream. Thank you. Okay. Is that his turn? That's his turn, yep. Yeah. Poke his toes. Miss. Oh, hit it! No, you hit it! Oh, oh smacked it! Poke his toes! Ten! Ten. Plus eight. Eighteen. I take off its toes. <laughs> <laughs> I cut off it the toe! I, I full goat mode, take off its toes. <laughs> the, re the reaper having been hit by fucking goat mode. Just loses a turn. Loses, in, in fact, no, he loses his whole foot. Yeah. He's just got a stump. Um, how, what damage was that? 18. 18, 18 sorry. 18, uh, 30, 33, 34, 40, 41. Oh, I'm almost there, guys. Oh, yeah. You are, you're almost. You've taken over a half health. I'm going to go on action, I know. It's bloodied as well, actually. Yes! Uh, okay. So, uh, who's next? Uh, me, then I'll, uh, I'll hit it with my axe. Yeah, I hit it this time. So, you yeah. smack it with your axe? Uh, plus two, four. Yeah, four. Just uh, four? For si on 16, is it stunned? No, it is immune stunned. Oh, so it's immune stunned. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am frozen for You're frozen for one? Yeah. Reaper's <clears> turn. <throat> Reaper's turn. Reaper is going to use Scythe on Gundrick again. Yeah. Uh, it's a good job I've got my shield out still. It's a 12, that's a 22. Ah, you don't block it. It smacks you, where's the d10? Doing 8, eight to 9, 10, 11 damage to you. Okay. Shit. As the scythe <coughs> swings past you, you see the scythe um, slash axe come past you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, 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 um, everyone is stood there, like kind of like, looking around, like fuck, we did it. We fucking beat that fucking Reaper demon. Um, the heroes start to glow again in a really bright blue light. Out from each of them, <laughs> firstly out from Grundrick, steps a faceless dwarf Ooh. wearing the same armor as Grundrick. Then a faceless elf steps out from Lyra again with the same ethereal armor on, and then out of um, Grumbug. Um, a faceless war troll steps out. There you go, boy. Um, uh, they, ba- they, they basically all turn to you and they all speak with one voice uh, and they say that uh, we are the... Um, uh, hang on, let me... We are the collective. Uh, the, the, um, oh, we, are um, we are the we new... Are the we, we are Gideon's <laughs> new subconscious. Um, we are the new guardians of Gideon's mind. Oh, um, they they they, uh, they all speak with speak as one voice. They then raise their hands to the door, and like the red energy field around it just completely dissipates and and, and goes yeah. away. And they then gesture for you to enter, and then they they basically just they just dissipate. Can we call them um, Kezajin, Suijin, and Sanjin? And combined, they become the Goat Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't. Oh. Do Balls. Uh, I'm gonna use both my healing, last remaining healers here, just to try and get some health back. If you want to. Yeah, three, four, five. I don't have any. Oh, twelve. Like uh, I don't know. Six, I'm, twelve. Pretty, I'm pretty sure we're out of there now, so it's making everything seventeen. 17. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, okay, do you guys want to go over to the really big door? There's no other doors apart. Yeah, There's gigantic wooden door. Let's go to the big door. Let's finish this. I go kick it. Let's save Gideon's ass. Grumble kicks it and nothing happens. Oh, I'm having a good night's sleep after this. It's too big for Grumble for Grumble to kick. Uh, the door is I'm, massive. I'm gonna do a little elf girl and push it gently. <laughs> Um, again, <coughs> you really struggle to open the store. Fuck's sake, I thought you would open it. Uh, I'm gonna try and open Gideon, it. Gideon, it's um, me! Again, no, um, against okay. it. Grundrick really struggles to open it. You I, can't I, do it. I turn around, look down the stairs and go, Go Guardian! <laughs> Nothing happens. Can you open the door? Uh, I'm just gonna knock on the door then. <laughs> then knock on it too. It's really heavy for just one of you to open. Um, I think, guys... I'll try it together! One, two, All three! All three of you push these epic doors open. The doors the swing open. <laughs> the doors swing open. As you enter the room, uh, um, as you enter, you notice that you're in another circular room, very similar to the one that um, you, you've just been in. However, and we're still the, shiny gold crystal arm. The, um, it, it's it's like kind of it's it's faded away and gone back into these blue the, the, the blue crystals. Aww. You still have the blue crystals, though. The blue circular, like marble-like crystals. Um, as you enter the room, uh, the room, like the room, is round. On the entire, uh, like the entire circumference of the room, there is bookshelves and like, little cubby holes full of scrolls and books and like yeah, and all sorts. The ceiling stretches up for miles. You can't see the top, but as far as you can see, there are books and scrolls and tomes and scriptures just littering all up the inside. Um, I get my axe over to fight Gundrick. Do a perception test. Oh, just you. That's me. Eight. No, you don't see no. Uh, nine, 11, 12, <clears throat> I got fifteen. No, no, you don't notice. You need an natural twenty to, to see anything. Can I do? Oh, do it? No, it, 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 it was only Grundrick. I would shout then. Get in, laugh. You were here. I'm not finished describing. <laughs> and the room is about twenty meters by twenty meters circular. In the center, there is a huge desk with a red wingback leather chair, like Morpheus's chair from um, The Matrix. Uh, on both sides of the desk, there are piles and piles of books and scrolls. Sat in the chair sits Gideon, feverishly reading a large leather-bound book. Oh, God damn it. Him. What do you want to do? Slap him. I'm going to storm right over to him. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder and go, you're a fucktard, you know that. But, uh, Lyra, what, what, what are you doing here? Lyra, Grumba, Gundry, what are you all doing Why here? on earth did you think it was a good idea to go into your own brain? Well, you see, there was method behind Don't the madness. Stop, stop, stop. Shut up, lad. We've had to fight through a okay. horde of demons to get to you. Gideon, we yes? have to It's quite an interesting story. I rode a minotaur demon off a cliff, <laughs> and then I got goat armor. <laughs> <laughs> just ignore And then I tried to beat up a reaper, but I kind of missed it. <laughs> okay. And I cut it to pieces. <laughs> Gideon, okay, you have okay. to leave. Where's the way? Okay, out? okay. But you, but you, first of all, you asked what, what were you, what were you doing? Okay, what the fuck were you doing? Well, you see, I was trying to regress back to my memories. I thought it was an effort to bring Otterbar back to human. If I could just remember 
the spell. Remember what it looked like. Remember the page of that book. I could reverse the incantation and return him to human form. I concocted an elaborate spell that would transform my, that would transfer my own consciousness into my own mind and hopefully into my own archived memories in order to find out this information. We're trying to save the world from my father who is super evil and you decide now is the right time to start messing around with your own brain? What if happened if, you, if, you'd, if you'd backfired like magically and just completely turned yourself uh, into a vegetable? Uh, uh, end of the day, you nothing! Turn it. End of the day, Lyra, nothing, because it is my mind after all, which means I can do things like this. <laughs> and he basically points at you and uh, uh, you go completely naked. naked. Yeah, I knew that was happening. <laughs> 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 Gideon, 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 Gideon winks and then clicks his fingers and your armour is back on. Okay, right, Lyra. It was, like, it, was, yeah. it was literally like a split second the other two didn't even know. Lyra <laughs> smiles at you and then punches you square in the face. Um, a, a magical shield goes up in front of Gideon's face. No, you don't have time. Good, good, yes, good. Yeah, you know you knew this was good, coming. It's, it's Gideon's mind. get hit Gideon, in the face. Gideon can do whatever he wants. Gideon then goes, you know, like, it's like I said, Lyra, it's my mind. I can do whatever I want. And he goes... Right, turns Grumble into a goat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then he starts to get and Grumble is back. Man. Right, okay. Grumble oh. like, Gr 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 going, I think that was the most disgusting thing I've ever saw. <laughs> okay. Me and okay. Samson, we are finally <laughs> So, yeah, basically, and, and so Gideon basically explains to you that it's his mind, nothing could have gone wrong. And he also explains to you that whilst you've been in his mind, Merely a second of real time has passed. Okay, listen, Gideon, we've been fighting your inner demons and stuff. We know how upset you are about Oliver. We know how how. I may have kicked him. Shush, 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 shush. Both, both of you two need to seriously explain what the hell is going on you, and what your quest's about to when we get out of here. This is a really bad idea, and if you don't, oh, talk don't, course, don't worry, I'll tell you when we get out. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, so, someone's so, trying to explain what's well, going on. Well, I'll have you know that my now. research into my own archive memories. Didn't go very well. I didn't. I didn't think it would. It was um, just there was far demons. too. There was far too much information to go through. I would have been here for an eternity. So you'd you know? like to go. You would like to go home. Did I, you know that you killed Nida Dig? You killed Nida Dig. That's the, what you did. Though now. we did free the goat guardian. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. The giants. I was wondering what you make of him. Nida Dig. We made him a goat guardian. I can't believe you did that to him. So you would like to go home then? Yes. Please. I've had enough of being in the, your head to the, have a lifetime. Very well. Gideon, um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Live, go, stop. What Have a time. Have a time. <laughs> 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 What's these things? You know, the glowing ball mm. of things. They appear to be... Gideon, hmm. we need to have a serious talk about our relationship. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I'm really serious to chat with both of you. This is just Gideon looks weird. at the, the little crystals and he goes, hmm. I don't quite know those, the, the, what they are. It was a flower. Because one subconscious is a very mysterious thing. I'm actually surprised you were able to converse with my subconscious. I'm surprised we even managed to get into your brain mm. first off. Is that much fucked up? I'm pretty sure your subconscious is broader than Yes, the, the spell place. that I cast was somewhat unstable. Well, but please. anyway, you would like to return back to Upton Fields yes, then? Yes, please. Okay. Gideon, um, ascent, Gideon basically puts his um, hands together and he open, He basically opened his hands and, and on the on the it's floor the, the floor around you there forms a swir another swirling vortex and goes there oh, you go me first wait, 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 wait. music oh <laughs> <laughs> wait okay. stop hang on music down so <laughs> this is gonna make <laughs> everyone jumps into the hole and then the doctor who music starts playing again yeah Again, you see all the swirling things, you see all the mad horrors, you see all the crazy stuff that Gideon has done. Um, and then you have Aaron got in a purple flash, and you are back in Gideon's room in your house in Upton Fields. Upton Fields. That's creepy music for it. Upton Fields. Oh yeah. <laughs> in this creepy yeah, that's room. A, that's, that's a really good idea. Hold on, let me make everything nice again. Wait a sec. Lyra opens the door. There we go. Clubs to a feet and goes, Oh, I never oh, thought I'd get it. Oh, thank God, I'm out. Oh, my ah, God. So, what do you think of a wizard's mind then? You never do that again. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Swab. Fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> You're a strange the little man. A, the mind of a wizard works in mysterious ways, as you have seen. She doesn't even listen to you. She literally just walks out the door, slams the door shut. You hear her go to her room and just start sobbing. <laughs> Like, ah! you, yes, you have a lot of I go, um, well, that was interesting. <laughs> Drink anyone? 
<laughs> yes, I think I, I did quite two of the drink, actually. <laughs> you all go. As you, um, as you, uh, by the way, as you come out of the, um, out of the, the, the wormhole from Gideon's mind, you all realise that you still have something in your hand. <gasps> you look, and you still have the, the blue crystals. Oh, it's the crystals, that well. In your hand. Can I make it into a necklace? Hmm? I want to. Well, the thing. You, uh, g- g- okay, basically, you, you, you look, and Gideon goes, remarkable! Ugh. You were able to bring those forth from my mind? Ew, gross. This is Gideon unprecedented. I can stick it back up there Don't if you like. Don't even get any ideas. <laughs> There's crystals Gideon. in his brain. Quick, get them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Keep on to them. You never know, they might come in handy one day. Okay, well, you know. So you everyone go goes off thing. back to the drunken donkey, and everyone gets. A couple of drinks in, and I, I put happily my, ever after. No, I put my crystal in Samson. Until Cypher comes on and kills us all. <laughs> right, so bag of and then, well, that is the end of my mission. Whee! What did you guys think Round of that? Oh, it was well, trippy, but I'm, very, very well done. I'm very sorry if it was a bit shit. Um, it, was it wasn't shit, shit at all. It was fine. It's good. It's good. It's quite excellent. well. Excellent. It's grieving. By the way, um, the oh, crystals boy. that you have are called. I don't Gideon actually have a name for them yet. Gideon I'm doesn't have a name. He he's he's never seen these things before in his life. I'm pulling he's, gems. He's, he's yet to um, the labyrinth name the crystal. <laughs> they they work in the real world. However, they only have a three time usage. Once they're That's used up the three times, yeah. that's it. They're gone forever. Um, uh, they're basically a downgrade of it because they're outside of Gideon's mind. They only give you plus one to attack and plus two to fortitude, rather than plus two to attack and plus five fine. to fortitude. Plus two to my two fortitude. Um, they last plus also for the entire length of a battle. When the battle is over, then they go. They just disappear, and that's one of the three turns used up. Cool. That is excellent. Sounds good. I call them did it, so did everyone enjoy? Yes. So every, um, everybody goes to the drunken donkey. Um, Lyra, Lyra does it. Lyra, Lyra sulks in the room. And they spend the rest of the drinking, 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 drinking and night. calling Gideon very strange. Yeah. yeah. Very weird. And next time we will start off from the next day, okay? Yeah. Excellent. Thank well, you very good. much, Mr. Jojo Man. That was quite fun. You are most welcome. Do you most see a welcome. Jojo Man. Jojo Man. Jojo Man. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for listening to my probably rather lame ver- uh, attempt at being a DM. Um, but yeah, guys. Thank you for listening, and uh, we will you see you guys again on the next Enter the Wolf Time Does D&D. Bye. Bye! Goodbye, friends. Bye.